2017 has been a big year for Kazakhstan. They hosted an international expo and they currently hold a non-permanent seat on the UN Security Council. While these are new introductions on the world stage, regionally, the country is a dominant force. For the last few years, our commenters have been asking us to dive deep into the Central Asian giant, and we're finally ready to answer one of your most burning questions. Just how powerful is Kazakhstan? Well, when we say Central Asian giant, we mean just that. Kazakhstan is massive, coming in at a little over 1 million square miles in size. That makes it the single largest landlocked country in the world and the ninth largest overall. That's about four times the size of the U.S. state of Texas. But surprisingly, Kazakhstan's population is considerably lower than that of Texas, with only about 18 million residents. That's one of the lowest population densities on Earth. Kazakhstan was the dominant economy in Central Asia, but today, their GDP is down by more than $100 billion due to a worldwide collapse in oil prices. Although slowly recovering, the economic burden has significantly affected living conditions. In fact, in spite of a formerly healthy GDP, life in Kazakhstan is considered rather authoritarian. It was the last Soviet Republic to become independent and has kept the same leader in power for the last 25 years. Nursultan Nazarbayev is often described as a dictator who cracks down on free speech and religion and is known to imprison political activists. Although it is technically democratic, the reality of the country's human rights abuses under a long-term leader suggests that it is anything but. This is problematic for a diverse population. There are estimated to be more than 130 ethnic groups living in Kazakhstan, although the overwhelming majority are ethnically Kazakh and religiously Islamic. Due to its large and central location, there is overwhelming regional influence from neighboring states such as Russia, Uzbekistan, Germany, and others. And although it is such a regionally dominant country, Kazakhstan's military is not that large. Ranking 55th worldwide, it boasts roughly 100,000 troops with a $2.4 billion defense budget. Additionally, military conscription is in effect, with a mandatory service of two years. However, this mandatory service is in the process of being phased out. Luckily, the size of their military is not as important to the country's defense, as is their membership in a wide variety of international organizations. Kazakhstan is a member of the United Nations and the World Trade Organization. They are also party to regional groups such as the Commonwealth of Independent States, a collection of post-Soviet republics. But most importantly, Kazakhstan is part of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, which contains Armenia, Belarus, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Russia, all of whom pledge to support one another in case of attack. With these backing military forces, individual defense is not that high of a priority. Kazakhstan is a unique combination of internal power with a reliance on external forces. In economy, society, and military, the country has plenty of work to do, but has found itself self-sufficient in the post-Soviet era. Ultimately, its biggest struggle is with regaining its recent economic might and tackling rampant human rights abuses from an authoritarian, quasi-democratic political system. Kazakhstan may be the largest Central Asian country, but it's only one part of an important grouping of nations known as the Stans. To learn exactly what they are and how they work together as a collective regional power, check out this video to the right. And thanks for suggesting this topic. We love hearing from our viewers, so thanks for watching Now This World. Please keep commenting, liking, and subscribing.